Anyway, this is John Doyle's uh, magnum opus. It is uh, How Porn is Destroying You and Our Corn Tree. Well, I've got to say, I disagree. So far, we have gone on a on a, quite the journey. We've talked about Bepuses a lot. We have talked about uh, we've talked about degeneracy seven different times. He said the word degenerate that many times. Um, we have talked about uh, so many of the things. Uh, don't uh, he doesn't want you to fap, uh, which is weird. Uh, that he's worried about your fapping. Uh, he doesn't want you to. Uh, uh, he only wants you to have sex with a woman, um, assuming, of course, that you're just a man, right? Uh, he does not want you to have sex with 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 other people, and probably only for procreative purposes, right? Um, he would consider uh, a lot of what I do sodomy. Um, <laughs> He is he is he is just very 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 concerned about your cummies, and that's just I, I don't know how to say it any other way. He's he's got he's got cummy concern right now. Cummy 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 concern. I'm concerned about your balls. That's a pretty good song. Heck off cummies, yes. So, join us for John Doyle's Heck Off Cummies. This is part four. This is part four of of his uh, anti-porn um, rhetoric. Uh, the societal implications. So let's start off on a good foot, John. Try not to say degenerates. We're up to a counter of seven. I think we should take a bet, though. What do you say, chat? What do you think? What should the bet be? I think it should be, are we going to get to 10? 10. Will we reach a 10th degeneracy, right? So, 10 or fewer total or over 10. There you go. Are we going to do three more or are we going to do more than three? That's all it is. Are you hammering the over right now? Hammering the over or are you cutting under and doing the under? Let's see. Mods will fix that up. You can use channel points on the way. Uh, toy and bet. John says fapping is communist. I don't think he's going to say it's communist. Uh, I think we'll probably reach 10. 10 exactly. Well, 10 exactly is 10 or fewer, which is fine. I'd be very surprised if it ends at less than 10. Me too. Me too, but we'll see. We'll see. So what do you think? <clears throat> How long is this video? Uh, he's got the, about half an hour or 35 minutes left on it. Um, which could take a, a, as much time as it takes. I don't know. Um, <coughs> are you anti-porn? What? Why don't you pay attention? Hang out. Hang out for a little bit. How about that? <coughs> Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ! Excuse me, I got a, I got a cough. Much better. Much better. <clears throat> it's not much better. Still got an icky. <clears throat> Ditty, thanks so much for the prime. It is time. It is time. All right, all right, here we go. Uh, how often will John repeat himself? Oh, we can't even count that. We literally can't even count that. How come a mod hasn't hasn't done the thing? How come a mod has not done the bet yet? Come on, one of you, one of one of you do the thing. One of you do the thing. Come on, you're all in here. Make sure these guys can do bets. I I I, I gotta I gotta wait a second. <clears throat> not like seven times, actually seven times. It's above my head right now. All the way up to the corner there. You can see it. I don't know what bets are. I'm tired. What the fuck, dude? Uh, is this magnum opus of no puss? It is. It is. <clears throat> Mm 
All right. Well, you better figure it out. You better figure it out or these people are going to fucking riot. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. <clears throat> Win channel points if you make the correct prediction. Of course. Using your channel points for the for the good of the team. Will John Doyle say the word degenerate? Uh, seven plus? What? That's terrible. You should hammer the over. What? <laughs> That's not what we not what we were talking about at all. That's not what we were talking about at all. <laughs> all right, just hammer the over because uh, you're gonna win. Because uh, well, apparently whoever did that uh, doesn't understand how how words work. It's already at fucking seven, bro. It's literally at seven now. Hmm, very strange. All right, it wasn't you. I uh, who who could possibly have counted on a motion to do either thing anyway? Who could possibly have done this? My goodness, my fucking goodness. What am I up here saying words for then? What's going on anyway? What a tragedy. <clears throat> Speaking of tragedies, uh, while you guys while you guys bet on this, um. <laughs> Uh, you boy, uh, you boy, John Doyle is having a rough one. I, I genuinely think the dude is just, he's just filled to the, to the absolute brim, uh, with, with unspent essence, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, John Doyle does not want you to engage in the watching or the, or the, uh, uh, what would you say? The active use of, uh, pornographic material. Uh, in any way, he thinks it is the downfall of mankind and civilization, and uh, he's he's got words to say about it. So, without further ado, <clears throat> an overflowing bag of milk. True. <laughs> without further ado, John Doyle. You know, obviously, we love women. We cherish women. We love our seven percenters, but it's like. We love our I look at the men in this country, particularly the young men, and I recognize that the same blood that built the greatest civilizations in the history of the world, that fought and won the greatest battles in the history of the world, is flowing through like each and every one of us. <laughs> Meanwhile, our country's collapsing. It is collapsing. And very few of us feel as though we actually have a purpose. It's just, it's heartbreaking to me. So, so John Doyle thinks that we should have wars to get pur purpose? I don't, I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand. I feel useless unless I can kill somebody. All right. It really is. But, you know, if you talk about that, that's toxic masculinity. That's why men are doing so badly all of a sudden in the last few decades. No, actually, it's not because toxic masculinity, because we can't talk about our feelings. It's because you're... Wait, what? What are you talking... What? Our kind needs us to be weak in order for you to be successful. And so you have displaced us, you have demoralized us, and as the logical consequences of those efforts manifest in front of you for the first time in recorded history, you blame toxic masculinity... Despite the fact that what you call toxic masculinity, when it was much more present in society, everyone was so much better off. It's these weak men, the slave morality. They need you to be weak with them because it makes them feel less insecure <laughs> and because it makes you less threatening to the actualization of their worldview. Okay, so uh, he thinks that it is weak. Surprise. It is weak to um, shrug off toxic aspects of masculinity. Uh, I, I don't know that he knows or understands what the term means. Rarely does a does a conservative understand what toxic masculinity actually means. Um, <clears throat> of course. Uh, so he is saying that, and check out this pause game. I mean, Jesus Christ, John. What a tragedy that was. That's, that's my bad, dude. Um, he thinks it's weak to uh, be a man that... I suppose shrugs off like things like unwarranted aggression, um, possessiveness over uh, women, uh, or just partners in general. <clears throat> uh, Zenthachal, thanks so much for following. Uh, he he thinks it's weak to I don't know engage in mental health services. He said something about talk, talk about your feelings, and he said that he like made that he made that sound like 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 pussy shit. Uh, I think personally, it takes a very strong person as, as a man that is always identified as such, um, growing up in a toxic masculine, 
uh, uh, world, especially because I played sports, and so you have that sort of jock thing going on. Um, obviously, uh, you know, I, I had a, uh, if you know anything about me, you know, I had a pretty conservative, pretty shitty father, um, literally because he was a conservative, um, where a lot of the problems he had, um, <clears throat> it, it's strange to me to, to desire a situation in which we are, as men force in, into roles of power for the for just for the sake of it right so so it makes us feel powerful um we i, I don't i just because a woman can can work or doesn't have to raise children solely or uh or gay people can get married or trans people exist or or mental health care is important or anything like that doesn't mean that i'm less of a man or less less strong or something. In fact, I think it takes quite a bit of strength to actively approach, and this is irrespective of your gender or your sex, obviously, um, I think it takes a tremendous strength to openly approach mental health care um, in a way that will benefit you, like actually talking to somebody, genuinely opening up. Like, that can be scary for a lot of people, especially people that grew up uh, in, in toxic uh, situations um, <clears throat> like, uh, like a lot of men do, um, which is really one of the biggest problems that men face, uh, in general is, uh, the stigma of self-help or asking for help and stuff like that. Um, uh, with the stigmas against seeking mental health service in general, says Ozma, um, it takes an immense amount of strength to seek it out. I know it's a suffer of chronic depression. Yeah, exactly. Um, <clears throat> uh, every time I kiss my husband, your dick falls off. True. Um... <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it's a situation where I I guess is it because you need it's a little submissive to render yourself unto someone else's expertise or something? I genuinely don't understand what the what the stigma is that he has about mental health care or just any of the other things. Um Captain Youngeet, Youngeet, thanks for uh hanging out. So Doodleburb could gift you a sub. <clears throat> anyway. That's ultimately all leftism is. It is the mass mobilization of the spiritually ill. That's why I never take any of it seriously. Well, the science says that you need to masturbate to pornography to relieve stress. Oh, you're not a porn addict? Have fun being more likely to get prostate cancer. Okay, addict. I'm just, I'm so done with the weak men. And I like... <clears throat> I don't mean like the beat down men, like the ones who are suffering and who need help. I mean the types who, instead of overcoming their weakness, they insist that everyone else is the problem. It's the ultimate cope. I have nothing to say to those people. I think you're a disgrace. I think that your ancestors are ashamed of you. <laughs> your ancestors are ashamed of you. I... <laughs> Look, he uses a lot of Nazi language all the time. And this is one of the things that I think is the most <clears throat> akin to that, where he goes like, uh, like your ancestors are looking at you and they're angry. It's like, brother, if my ancestors, let's say heaven exists, right? Let's say, let's say, let's say my ancestors can actually look at this. Okay. My, my fucking great, great grandpa should be fucking amazed. Look at this shit. Look at what I got going on here. He can't even fucking comprehend this. I have a computer in my fucking hand he doesn't have time to worry about whether or not i need mental health care the man is in i bet i bet my great great grandfather and your great great grandfather and all great great grandfathers time immemorial would fap their dicks right off if they had access to the internet and porn are you kidding me their dicks would literally be just calluses what are you talking about that's amazing they had to look th those types of people didn't have any of the freedoms that we have today and you might be like oh they come from the greatest generation ever what's the greatest generation bro they were worried about things like polio and nuclear annihilation and war and famine and like 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 literal fucking like suicide bombings on the west coast like <laughs> i don't know what like what what? 
I don't understand how you could be how you could be upset about this. Uh, Fujimura Maru no Jitsu. Uh, where the fuck is that message, dude? Uh, I'm not in jail or dead or being lynched. I'm 100% sure my ancestors are my biggest trailers. Exactly. Exactly. I almost feel bad for Doyle with, with how young he is if he wasn't such a massive asshole. He forces any pity I might have had for him when he spats his Nazi Nazi. I mean, yeah, he, I mean, he's always doing that. Uh, little is, uh, little Leafy, thanks for the three months. <coughs> I have never masturbated. I feel like I would 99% be more chill if I could. Well, maybe. I don't know. All they sacrificed only for you to become a slave to yourself and to the oligarchs of society, to have no children and to instead derive your meaning from, from pop culture and mass media, I find you repulsive. I think that your lifestyle is an insult to the greatness of the human experience. <laughs> and your lifestyle being an insult to the human experience means that I'm going to try to legislate the way that you can exist. <laughs> Yeah, he's a literal Nazi, dude. I mean, just, who, have you heard anything more nazi even than that shit? Like, <laughs> uh, I'm a nerd. Mm, yeah, mm, I think you can have children. Mm, yes. Hey, John, why do you care about my balls so much? Can you stop thinking about my balls for two seconds, dude? Like, consider, consider the fact that, like, maybe a lot of people don't want to have children because you have voted for a system one time in your life because you're a tiny baby. Uh, you have voted for a system and advocate for a system that denies people the financial freedom to have children in a respectable and responsible way, my guy. Like, what the fuck are you talking about, my dude? You are, He is such a fucking little baby, dude. He... Uh, you should get. You should have a wife and have children. You don't have a wife or children, dude. You're alone. We know you're alone. We know this. When look, John Doyle. If you watch the rest of his life, there is a a a zero percent chance that this doesn't burn out in some sort of embarrassment. Zero percent chance. He's gonna be find find out that he's gonna be doing like meth in a garage in a gay orgy, which would be normally fine, except he's a hypocrite now. Uh, he, he's going to be, he's going to be like, like, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. He, he's going to do some, some sort of thing. He's going to be an alcoholic. He's going to crash his car into a bridge or something. He's going to like, like, look, look, except for the meth part. No, I don't care if you do meth. I think we should, I, I don't care if you do meth. You do, do, do much meth that you want. But here's the thing. It's not legal, right? It's, it's, it, it's not, it's, dec it's not decriminalized. So uh, the way I would say that you get to do math, uh, which used to be a thing, actually. Um, uh, uh, math uh, was uh, not, wasn't made in fucking, like, garages. Um, amphetamines and stuff are real. Like, they're, they're, they're uppers. They're things that people use. Um, uh, kamikaze pilots use methamphetamines. Uh, which is obviously not a, not, not a glowing review of of methamphetamine, but I'm just saying, like, if you want to do something to your own body, I don't care. I have no problem with it at whatsoever from a, from a, from an ethical standpoint. If that's what you want to do, of course, this is under my system in which you'd have access to uh, heroin hotels or just drug hotels or whatever, where you would go, you could do, you could you could be in a secluded space um, with you or, or your partner or whoever whoever your friends, I don't know, whoever joins the space as well. It's a situation where uh, you have medical professionals around, you can do recreational drugs, and you are in a confined space, and it's not it's not a stigmatized thing. And if you have addiction problems, that same facility can help wean you off of addiction. It's it's a thing that happens, and it makes a lot more sense than prohibition, in my opinion. People want to do some drugs. Some people just always want to do drugs. That's fine. Do some drugs. Don't care. Do them. But in a situation where it can be safe for everybody involved, and obviously most drug use... Uh, is a symptom of poverty and not a symptom of people just seeking a good time. A lot of people that do um, drugs do them to uh, sort of escape situations or self-medicate, um, or uh, they they sell them out of out of uh, poverty and stuff like that. Anyway, um, it's not really the point, but it does lead to some of the problems that uh, John Doyle is bringing up, uh, which are an actual problem. Sum uh, Sumaka, thanks so much for the follow, dude. But that is of minor importance because me and the boys are going to break the conditioning and there's nothing that you can do to stop it. It's inevitable. The prerequisite to your worldview has been that man must lack the discipline that would prevent him from becoming a slave to his desires, which cloud him from realizing just how bad you've allowed things to become. That's why they hate masculinity. I don't hate masculinity. What are you talking about? No, 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 no. No one hates masculinity. 
Does anybody hate masculinity? Besides, I mean, besides like your own masculinity, if you happen to be trans or something like that. I mean, masculinity as a concept. Any of you hate it? Just go ahead. Show of hands. I'm pretty masculine, wouldn't you say? Uh, but I mean, seriously though, like, like I'm, I'm, look, hold on. We'll, we'll, we'll drop the facade for just a second. We'll, we'll drop it. We'll drop. Oh, oh, he's got actually beautiful locks of hair. Holy shit. Oh, wow. As a masculine man, you might look at me and say, wow, what a fucking like, what a, what a, what a, what a, what a triumph of testosterone. You might look at me and say, hey, <laughs> I, I, I don't know if I could take that much manliness all at once. However, it's important to note that uh, uh, this uh, being masculinity uh, doesn't mean that this uh, little boy is also not masculinity. Um, it manifests in different ways, right? Uh, sometimes we uh, have... Uh, big, strong uh, beards and uh, nice hair, and sometimes we look like John Doyle. Um, <laughs> masculinity is 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 a thing that manifests in in a variety of ways. It can be bad, the same way that uh oh, watch out. Any form of expression can be a bad thing. Any form of it. Um, it's not usually that. Uh, it's usually a good thing, but, um, sorry, my, my, my thing, my thing, as you could see, uh, was not working correctly. Um, <clears throat> should be working now. Pa-pow! pa, -pow! pa -pow! Uh, <clears throat> masculinity itself is not toxic. There are aspects of masculinity that we associate with toxicity because it's expected behavior from people who are typically considered masculine. Mostly, it's toxic man socialization. Someone who identifies as a man, typically they're AMAB, um, and, and, and cishet, basically. Um, typically, those are the people we're talking about when we talk about toxic masculinity. That's not to say that nobody... Who, who doesn't identify as that doesn't exhibit aspects of toxic masculinity, of course. There are very toxic gay guys. There are very toxic trans guys. There are very, you know, it happens all over the map. It's not, it's not explicitly just people like me. But we are really the, the catalyst for it. Um, again, I talked about this last time. Uh, anyone who was uh, AMAB, uh, assigned male at birth, if you're uh, not aware, um, basically you were born with a PP. people called you a boy, and whether or not you have transitioned from that or remained cis, uh, is, is irrelevant. <coughs> as long as you socialized AMAB, uh, growing up, um, and you can dip into this, but it's different than growing, than, than when you're an adult versus when you're growing up, because there are certain, um, be a man things that are, that are instilled in you, just like the, the Mulan song. And I'm not being hyperbolic. Um, the be a man, like, like, and I know that the, the Mulan movie is, is a little bit poking fun at that, obviously, because Mulan is not a man, um, but still can exhibit some very strong qualities that we consider manly. Um, but I would consider those strong qualities in anyone, not just manly. Um, there are aspects of masculinity that are, that are good. Um, things that we consider masculine that are good are um, physical protective nature, right? Like, like if someone, a masculine trait could be standing in between somebody uh, and protecting someone that is physically weaker than you. That is a that is a usually a positive quality that we consider masculine. And what, you don't have to be a man for it. It's just usually considered a masculine trait. Um, there are positive like being a really good dad, um, you know, in whatever way that is. Although John Doyle would say that it's it's bad masculinity to be a good dad in the way that you ought to be, which is validating your child and making sure that they, you know, are respected and understand certain aspects of life and stuff like that. And you under, you get it. It's much broader than this. But tox, toxic masculinity and masculinity itself are totally different things. And I know John Doyle doesn't understand this. I know he doesn't. <coughs> um, where he just says, the left hates masculinity. Dude, we don't hate masculinity. I, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know why he has to continue to do this. There are a lot of very, I'm thinking of the top like leftist creators, pretty masculine, 
I mean, you think about uh, you think about uh, obviously uh, you have Hassan, you have Vosh. Uh, who else is huge on the on the left? That that's a dude. Um, I mean, I wouldn't say I'm huge, but I'm 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 on the left, and I'm I'm at least notable. I know all these people, so um, you know. Uh, lots of people like this. And there's some there's some people that, that are on different spectrums of masculinity. TJ, I guess, is masculine. He's not really a leftist. Um, uh, Xander. Uh, Mike, sure. Mike, uh, uh, Lucid Fox, um, uh, the Serfs, uh, and Lance, and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, stuff like that. Uh, these are all people that exhibit masculinity in an array of ways. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah. Uh, Dylan is a lib. Sorry, Dylan. He's a lib, though. Jack Saint's a great answer. Uh, Dylan is a lib. He literally identifies himself as a lib. Um, uh, yeah. Sorry, dude. He's also Christian. I don't know. I don't know why. I mean, he, he, just how he identifies is not my, not me doing it. Um, uh, Jimmy Snow. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Um, Suris. Exactly. There you go. I mean, there's lots of people like that. Um, and we run the gamut of masculinity, but but not a lot of it runs into toxicity. It can, absolutely. Um, but, uh, yeah. Johan Doyle, obviously. Masculinity is inherently right-wing because a man is measured by how he controls things, most importantly himself. It's also a reflection of his character, having control, establishing order. These require strength, and this is fundamentally what masculinity is about. And people who don't <laughs> like this channel and who don't like us, they'll say... John Doyle looks young because he's young and he's got glasses. What does he know about masculinity? And it's like, bro, you are literally addicted to watching Asian cartoon characters have sex. <laughs> I don't know who he's talking to. I don't like hentai. He got mad at me earlier, definitely. He was talking shit about me earlier. Um, but uh, I don't know who he's talking about now. Um, there, I, I, I don't think you can just dismiss any of any of this stuff. To, to Oh, you like hentai, dude. Because not a lot of, like, not everybody on the left likes hentai. I don't know. I don't know. So we say that as, as a sort of like a hypocritical thing, right? So anytime anytime he goes like, ooh, masculinity, and you go and you look, I mean, look at him. He's a little boy. And so the point is, you don't stand up to your own extreme viewpoints of masculinity, right? The point is not that you are invalid in the way that you choose to exhibit your life. I don't, I could care less about, about how John Doyle wants to, uh, uh, you know, express himself. I don't, I don't care. Um, I want him to be as happy as he possibly can be, um, without hurting anybody else. Sadly, I think he, he gets, those are directly correlated. So, um, and, 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 <laughs> It's just about that you don't meet your own standard of your definition. You just don't. You don't meet it. You are a little boy. <laughs> You're pathetic. And the reason they're like this, even ignoring the insecurities that define leftist thought and affiliation, is because their entire concept of masculinity is derived from pop culture. They think masculinity means like aggression, basically. They think of Marvel movies or they think of when they were bullied in school. What? And that's what they think masculinity is. No. No, 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 no. Uh, so again, masculinity does not have to be aggression or, or any of that. Uh, an example of toxic masculinity without any aggression whatsoever would be um, the expectation that you need to make more money than your spouse, especially if they're a woman. Uh, that is toxic masculinity. That is an aspect of your 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 being um, emasculated due to the fact that someone who is not masculine is more successful than you in a capitalist sense. Um, there are things like um not asking for help for stuff like th there's a reason that the guy who won't ask for directions uh before cell phones came out like when we were kids guy won't ask for directions he's looking at the map ah oh, he doesn't know there's a reason that's a meme like uh, because it's it's about pride not asking for other help like um pull yourself up by your bootstraps type shit this isn't this isn't aggression this doesn't mean punchy face punch man punch right this is this is, is literally like like, just fucking sometimes we need help, bro. Like, it's fine if you need help for stuff. It's toxic. That's all it is, dude. That's just parts of it. Again, there are good aspects of being a, a masculine person. Um, again, being a very strong parent. Uh, and I don't mean, like, I don't mean, like, 
like uh, authoritarian. I mean, like just a, it's a very, very good parent. That's a that's something that I would consider when you see a good. Who likes a good dad? Every time you see you see a good dad in like like a like a TikTok that comes out or like a viral video or whatever, everyone goes fuck. Look at that good ass dad. Like that's good shit, right? Everybody likes a good dad. Um, everybody likes you know uh, dads that you know the the typical dad that that has straight lines on his in his lawn type guy that's not a terribly to- it can be toxic he can be very anal about it but you know he's just proud of his lawn that's kind of cute and fun uh, 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 a dad or a guy in general a masculine person that is good on the grill i'm one of those i'm good on the grill and good at cooking in general and and like like that's something that we consider masculine for the most part if it's over open flame if it's in the kitchen that's woman's work um being able to fix your car is definitely not a thing that we think is toxic. It can be, again, uh, depending on how you flex that. But uh, just having the skill of being able to fix your car is something we consider masculine. Um, there's lots of things like this. Home maintenance, these are positive things. Being able to lift heavy objects for people. Opening the pickle jar. These are fun things that masculinity involves that are non-toxic and are totally fine for people. I have no idea why. I, he just doesn't understand the conversation. He doesn't understand the conversation. And that's okay. And so they look at someone like me who's in pretty good shape, but obviously, you know, I'm not like this hulking, Bane-like figure. <clears throat> and so it just goes right over their head because they don't have the capacity to transcend these very sophomore conceptions of masculinity. And it's also because it makes them feel better about their own weakness to be able to dismiss someone talking about the importance of everything that they lack. I could probably beat up John Doyle. I could probably do it. I'm tossing that out there be a discipline, conviction, whatever. Just be like, ah, well, he looks like he's 14. That's like really what it comes down to because they have no actual concept of masculinity, which is related to why, you know, they think it's a social construct, that gender roles are fake and fluid. It's- they literally are. Do you know how I know? You look like you're 14. <laughs> like, that's literally how we know that they're fluid. Your masculinity is not how I am masculine. Like, what are you talking about, dude? It, it's really hard to, it's, it's, it's so hard to say masculinity is very specifically this. And if you're not this, you're not masculine. Like, what? There are so many aspects of masculinity. A bug killer, like said to be. Uh, hell yeah. Uh, so, like, for instance, John Doyle would inf- definitely, he definitely considers himself masculine, right? Does he consider Dave Bautista masculine as well? Dave Bautista, who definitely disagrees with John Doyle politically and is also a hulking monster person, right? Like, I think Dwayne The Rock Johnson, there you go. Like, these people are masculine in different ways. I don't have to invalidate your version of masculinity to say that Dave Bautista is also masculine. And I don't think he's more masculine than anybody else. I think it's just how he expresses his masculinity. Is John unironically doing that this is the peak male form? Yes, he is doing that. He really, he's pretty much doing that. Pedro Pascal, a great example. Like, he's just, like... John, it's clearly fluid. It clearly is. That erupt. What did Batista do? Nothing. What are you talking about? The truth is that there's nothing inherently masculine about aggression because if you don't have control over your emotions and you become aggressive, that's not masculine. Or a lot of times insecure okay. men will use aggression to compensate by trying to embody this caricature of masculinity. Sure. Because again, they have no real concept. Aggression is good when it's rooted in a good man. Anything else is just bitchy chaos, essentially. And- Okay, so it's it's bitchy. Uh, okay, so aggression is a is a lady thing. This is very Jordan Peterson, uh, chaos dragon. Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> and when we reestablish the order in our lives by cultivating, so this guy's masculine. I thought you said it didn't have anything to do with physical fitness or something, or is it? Is it physical fitness? discipline, we will realize something very alarming, which is that the people running things have hijacked and exploited our biological drives to pursue food and sex, and that has made us weak. And they've made a lot of money doing that. They've gained a lot of power, too. At the (sighs) same time, they promote these ideas of freedom, that at least in America, we're free. China doesn't have freedom because pornography is illegal. Maybe that's true, but I'm not sure that it's exactly reassuring to know that, yeah, you know, they subsidize and enable our destruction, but hey, that's just a result of our freedom. Because that's what America's all about. Gosh darn it, getting fat and watching people have sex on an iPhone. Why do you think that's the narrative? Think about that. Why is it that when that is discussed in the mainstream, because it rarely is, why is it that when it is, it's always in a positive light? Why do you think our government has failed to address it? 
It's a coincidence. All the people who just so happen to want to destroy our country are also... <laughs> who wants to destroy the country? What are you talking about? So all overwhelmingly supportive of it. It's a... <laughs> Bro, if you think if you think improving people's day-to-day -day life is destroying the country, I have bad news for you. We have different definitions of that and you're on the wrong side. There's just no there's just no way you can disagree with, "Hey, everyone should have a pretty good life if they live in America." That's just there's no way you could fucking disagree with that. And and also say that person wants to destroy the country. Like, what do you mean? What's destroy look like to you then? Does destroy mean it doesn't look like it did when I was a kid? Because the internet destroyed that then. Uh, and the automobile destroyed it before that. And before that, the Industrial Revolution destroyed that. And before that, I don't know, fucking... <laughs> Uh, 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 the Constitution, I guess, destroyed that. Before that, the international slave trade. Before that, I don't know, the fucking Magna Carta in the 1300s. Uh, before that, feudalism. Before that, uh, the fall of Rome. Like, I mean, oh no, <laughs> it's different. <laughs> yeah, things change. Thanks, buddy. That's just how things work. Sorry, dude. Not really. I'm not sorry at all. A very simple answer and this is something to consider when you quit how to properly struck was it 12 15 i thought the magna what am i thinking of you know what i th hold on is that wait 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 wait. was the 1300s when um that king got a divorce king, was it king george what's his name is that king george was that the, the 1300s there was another big moment there was the magna carta really 12 15 i believe you her amble was just a gorilla so that's John. Yeah, twelve fifteen. What was the thirteen hundreds one I'm thinking of? King Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was fifteen hundreds. Hmm. I don't know. I forget those. It's not really important that you remember when those dates are. To be totally honest, there's nothing that really happens during that that period of time between twelve and fifteen hundred. Pretty dead zone. Late 14s is where you the slave trade. But. For the psychology of it. Didn't you used to teach history? Yeah, I used to teach history, but I didn't teach fucking, I didn't teach European history. I taught American history and early Western civilization evolution. What did you teach? Being dumb? Probably. Boom. How to be a bottom. Just cry. <laughs> it's simply that demoralization is a warfare strategy. Pornography demoralizes you. It is a weapon. Treat it as such. Don't get depressed. Get angry channel what masculinity they have yet to rob from you into something productive take strong issue with the fact that pornography is an attack on men which means that it's an attack on your sons and on your fathers which means that it's an attack on the family it makes men weak it makes women resent them what <laughs> do you resent me because porn exists chat <laughs> <laughs> Porn exists, and now I resent all men. That's how it works. That's true. That's true. And vice versa. They don't even want to pursue a radical feminist suddenly. Pursue women. It destroys relationships with women. Lowers the fertility rates in our country. It traumatizes children. It's unequivocally an attack on the society, regardless of intention. It should be treated as such. It's 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 literally part of society. These people are actually fucking. I don't know what, like. They're actually fucking in porn. It's real. Why do you think the most popular pornography categories are incestuous? Why do you think that generations of young men have been programmed into wanting to have sex with the women in their family? Ted Cruz. It's Ted Cruz's fault. That's true. We had a video about this recently. It's Ted Cruz's fault. Who they're supposed to be protecting and looking after. Just a coincidence? Maybe, yeah. End result is the same, which is that the family unit is being sexualized and attacked. The family unit is being sexualized and attacked. No, but they're always step-siblings. These are very different situations. I don't know why those are popular either, but it is a role-play thing. I don't know. Does he think incest is new? Well, it certainly wasn't in the Bible that he loves. And those associations and attitudes, as we talked about, are being sculpted and neurochemically programmed into the minds of millions of young men. What's that going to look like in 30 years? I don't think I want to know. Those guys are going to be even worse off than we are unless we can do something about it.
Otherwise, they're just going to be having an even worse time than us. And we can't do that to them because the fact of the matter is that, and I know this sounds weird, but it's true, like low key, everything about you as a man is like rooted in your sexual desire. That's ultimately like your driving force, which is why the iron law of sexually perceived history is that men did greater things when it was harder to see boobs. What is a great thing? Western expansion? This is a great thing to you? Western expansion and destroying destroying the lives of the people that lived on the land because of your 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 fucking <laughs> I don't know, your manifest destiny or some shit? Like your fucking your your divine right of, of white men I don't uh what a great thing. You know what was really great about this? The fucking cholera. Oh man. Remember when we remember when we had smallpox blankets and, and we, we, we ended up getting cholera and oh that was so good. I died from diarrhea. <laughs> remember when trepanning was a reasonable medical pra pra practice? <laughs> Come on, bro. This is not great stuff. This is brute force move left. Move left across the geography. Surely, eventually, we'll all survive the trip. Like, what are you talking about, my dude? <laughs> yeah, just because things happen at a very quick rate now doesn't mean anything we do now is less interesting. You know what's you know what's better you know what's better than uh, than than raping and pillaging the western lands of the United States or I guess the the North American uh, countryside um, and moving out uh, people with a different skin tone and lifestyle uh, and culture. You know what's better than that? Boobs on the internet. That's a way better achievement. Boobs on the internet hurts hurts some people. But but it's getting more ethical day by day, and that is, and it's always been more ethical than raping and pillaging the uh, the, the 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 native population of the Americas. Always been better. Boobs are better than uh, doing a genocide. I, I said it, I said it, and I'd say it again. Also, dicks. Dicks are even dicks. I'm not even a dick fan. I'm not even a fan of dicks. Being able to see a big dong on the internet is a better achievement at any point. I could look up a dick right now. In fact, I might look up a booby. Let's type in, let's type, I'm going to type boob into this. Boob. B-O-O-B. <laughs> Search. Uh, images. Nope, that's a... I'm going to find a good boob someday. Where's a good booby? That's three boobs. That's three boobies. Come on. Hey, we found a boob. That's a baby on a boob. Anyway, that's orange peels on a boob. Boob. There's a boob. Wow, we did it. Boobies. Boobies are good, chat. That was way better way better than killing the bison population to starve out a native population. Wouldn't you, wouldn't you say? Jake's into some weird porn. I do love a good boob. Who doesn't like a boob? Actually, I'm more of a butt guy, if I'm totally honest. <laughs> the classes are reflective. Yeah, but you can't really, I mean, you know. It's simply a fact. Everything we talk Most of those were man boobs, to be totally honest. It's about earlier involving your brain, dopamine, the reward system. All of that has been compromised by this, and it's destroying you. We walked through the science behind it. I don't want to repeat myself, <laughs> but we all know it's true. Remember when guys actually talked to girls? Even like 20 years ago. I talk to girls all the time. I'm, I'm very cool. Remember the motif of every teen movie that came out before like 2010? For like 30 years, there was this sweet spot in Hollywood where it was degenerate enough to put this stuff on screen, but audiences weren't degenerate enough to where it wasn't interesting to them anymore. What? Where you'd go see any teen movie, and the whole problem was that the dudes needed to get with the girls. Sure. That was it. The motif of like, bro, I need to get laid now. And then you'd be in the theater like, bro, I know. That's degenerate count nine? Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, dude. We're at nine, chat. D-Gen count nine. Boop. Oh, but that's gone. Guys don't talk to girls anymore. Guys don't approach girls anymore unless they're like running game. And what are you talking about? I literally, what are you talking about? Bro, I, am I the old, am I the last, am I the last person on earth that, that 
has does talk still women? Is that it? Is that it? I I'm pretty. I, I don't know. I've never had like a problem with it. So I'm just tossing that out there. All, all the rest of you, all the rest of you are like, just just sad, just sad, and you haven't engaged with a lady ever, even if you are a lady, because other ladies are scary. If you're non-binary, uh, scared to them as well. Wow, pretty scary. Ladies are pretty pretty intimidating. Um, you know what the thing about ladies is? Um, if you're a guy and you're straight, or even if you're bi or whatever, and uh, you're just scared of talking to girls for some reason, here's the thing. I'm going to let you on a little secret, okay? little tiny secret about, about women, okay? They want to fuck too. Here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, though. Uh, they get propositioned a bajillion times more often than you do, probably. Um, yeah, yeah, I know. I know. They enjoy sex. So, do you want to know the best way? Do you want to know the best way? The best way to, uh, to, 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 to forge a relationship with, with a woman. Here's, here it is. Pickup artist Jake. Are you ready for this? Ready for this shit? Patented moves right now. Talk to them like they're a human. Whoa, whoa, dude. Talk to them like they're human people. Whew. Crushing this shit. Crushing this. Do you know how many do you know how many human women like being talked to like they're human people? That's fucking wild, dude. So yeah, uh don't 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 uh don't treat them like a fuckhole. Um, you know, I mean, Tinder exists, you know, Tinder exists. There's other ways to like, Hey, if people want to be treated like fuck holes or sticks, you got that. That's a thing. But if you're talking to a person, you're like, man, I think, I think I like this. Just talk to him like a human person. Have no expectations. Just, just a relationship that you'd have with anybody else that you weren't sexually attracted to, except you are sexually attracted to this person. The only the only difference is that this has the chance to escalate. And if it doesn't, it won't. That's okay. Who cares? Oh, <laughs> uh, well. Wow. Yep. <clears throat> Letting the cat out of the bag. I know, I know. <clears throat> That's not insignificant. They've robbed you from even the simplest and greatest joys of being a young man, interacting with young women. Now it's just grooming you for the rat race. But work is meaningless, so give it meaning through consumption, constant advertisements, eat this food, buy this product, naked girl pretty, must- You you like capitalism, dude. These are literally just problems with capitalism. Touch pee pee. That's what's coming, not socialism. Remember, don't just consume to live, live to consume. You know it's true, especially young men, like the whole- Why do you have problems with capitalism then? Whole culture is different. Think about the first porn you saw. Now think about the weirdest thing that you've ever seen. Now think about what you're watching now on average. You know it's weird. What's weird? What's weird? I I feel like most things that people like aren't that weird. I, <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. Like there's the, the, the he thinks there's this escalation of like of like weird weird fetishes. It's like dude, I can't think of many fetishes that are weird. Most fetishes make at least logical sense, right? Like, I would understand why someone likes degradation. I understand why someone likes choking. I understand why, like, why someone might like, um, I don't know, being tied up or something like that. Like, there's there's lots of these, the very the very um, normal kinks. And then there's some, some fringe kinks and stuff that I don't understand from an intellectual level. But who gives a shit? As long as people are consenting, no one gives a shit. No one gives a shit. Because you can maybe be like, yo, dude, I saw this video of this chick having sex. It was sweet. But you wouldn't be like, yo, dude, I saw this video of this chick getting raped by a squid. Same way that you'd be like, yo, dude. What? I went to this party. I got wasted. But you wouldn't be like, yo, dude, I can't function anymore without drinking throughout the day. Dap me up, bro. Bro, I'm addicted to furry porn. Dap me up, bro. The boys are not doing well. The boys are down bad. And you can't expect a society to survive more than a few generations of the boys being down bad. And this is so obvious. Do you think the people who hate us don't know this, that this is like lost upon them? You know what I would do if I were the guy who does things? I'd take a few decades and I'd just weaken the men of society by promoting a sedentary lifestyle that prioritizes comfort and convenience all while promoting things like pornography. That's literally, that's literally what capitalism sells. 
Holy shit, dude. Okay. Do you think in a society, do you think in a society where people are monetarily comfortable? Oh, Alter Grin, thanks for the raid, my friend. Uh, do you think in a society where people are monetarily uh, uh, just, just like good to go, okay? They don't have like a big problems, okay? Uh, their survival isn't on the line at all times. Uh, in a situation where where we destigmatize the way that people want to live their life, whether they are uh, gender nonconforming, whether they have uh, whether they're not heterosexual, whatever's going on there, destigmatizing all of that. Um, uh, do you think we're gonna have j just those two things? Do you think we're gonna have a situation where porn use is just skyrocketing at all times? No, of course, porn use is going to go up also during a global pandemic. Um, <coughs> It's just going to go up in the winter uh, in general. Um, <laughs> like, uh, thanks, Stephen the Great. I appreciate that. Um, like, like I, I don't really understand. He's not prescriptive, really. He just says, don't do the thing. It's like, okay, but people want to do the thing. So how do you, what do you, what do you replace that wanting to do the thing for stuff? Um, zero V streaming. Thanks for the tier two for five months. Uh, oh, he's bad. He's bad. I heard porn is popular. I know, right? Like, I don't know. Like, like people like to have sex. I don't, I don't know. And people like sexual relief. Wearing my Cobby tank top that I bought for post top surgery. Hell yeah. Um, uh, I, like, I, I just don't, I just, I just genuinely do not understand. You see a problem in your opinion, and you your 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 solution to it is is abstinence and prohibition, two things that have never ever 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 worked. Alcohol, marijuana, etc., to usurp the role of natural endorphins while simultaneously trying to just fry their reward center, lower their testosterone with the help of junk food that I'd also be promoting <sighs> and subsidizing. He br he brings up junk food a lot, dude. At the same time. Yeah, just basically getting men really weak, getting everyone to hate their bodies, be unhealthy, which would help breed the mental illness that I'm looking to breed, since the health of the body and the mind are strongly related. And this would lower... Well, because those are the same thing. For the self-control of the population, too, which is a good thing for me, because I need people susceptible to propaganda. And at that point, you just want to feminize the whole society, so as to... Feminize the whole society. What's... <laughs> the meant that collapse of the traditional male... Who gives it? Who gives a shit what he's wearing? I don't understand. <laughs> how <laughs> how is Harry Styles less masculine because he wore a dress? I don't care, dude. I don't care. I, in fact, I think he looks pretty good in it. I don't know. I, like what? Where, wear whatever the fuck you want. Who gives a shit? The feminization of men. You know who we also celebrate? Really masculine dudes. Who cares? I don't. I don't care. Anyone can be whatever they want. It's fine. I, like if you're not into it, don't don't hang out with Harry Styles. It's fine. Also, do the same with women, except just completely objectify them. Just make them into total whores. What? Okay, apparently this person is a whore for wearing a tank top. Like what? You can't you can't wear a you can't wear a tank top or a or is this just a bra? Even is this like a sports bra? Still not asking for it. I, I, yes, no, not asking for it. Of course not. What what is what 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 is this? I don't understand. Oh, whores. What? What? What's hoary about this? I don't understand. <coughs> Literally saying she doesn't want sex equals whore. I know, right? Well well non consensual, of course. The shoulders. Oh Jesus. Convince them that it's empowering or something. They'll buy it. They're women. And then just go ahead and also promote sexual deviancy, which would logically result in the promotion of pedophilia and a lot. Wait, what? What? Okay, most people on the left disagree with this take, that uh, pedophilia is a sexual orientation. No. People don't accept that. Uh, it's a slut walk protest. I know what it is. I just don't know. I don't understand why he thinks people are whores for wearing their titties uh, on their chest. Uh, can we send John back to his preferred time in the 1950s? He would hate it there. He would hate it there. Like... Like <laughs> long enough timeline. And then now you've destroyed the individual components of the family along with the family unit as a whole. That'll help you cement the perpetual childishness of the society. You're going to want people basically distracted by superheroes and dogs and video games until soy milk, Rick and Morty 
Nintendo Switch Joy-Con controllers and blacked.com. Was that did he say DGen? Did he did he did he did he say DGen? I'm only hearing one person saying that. Oh, okay. Tell they're in their like mid thirties, basically just dependent, not worried about. Wait, what was that last part? What was that? Wait, what? What? I'm 30 years old, but I speak like an illiterate three-year-old because the Reddit and memes. How cool and original I am's. La Chonker, Doggos, Henlo, say it back, chat. Heckin' Pupper, Le Danger Noodle. I don't even know what that means. I can has kitters, scaly lizardy doggo boy. Is John Doyle anti cute things? Things can be cute. What? <laughs> things are cute, John. That's okay. Who gives a shit how people talk? I don't care. I don't care. John is either very deep in the closet and or got some really bad sex ed. I I mean, I don't know about I'm not gonna I'm not gonna speculate on his sexuality. He's probably straight, but uh I I <sighs> I think he's grossly insecure. He might feel as though he's secure. Like most conservatives, he just hates mine. He might think he's con he, he's very secure, actually. I, I bet he thinks himself a secure person. But he knows that there's things he can't say or he loses masculinity points or something. Like when I see when I see Darwin, he's just a handsome young man. And he, he is a beautiful boy. And I don't know why you'd be upset. About someone, something being cute to you. I don't know. Like, sometimes we just see cute stuff, and, and it's it's good. I don't know. Like, if I just call, if I call Darwin, do you think he'll come to me right now? Hey, buddy! Darwin! Come here, bud! I can hear him. Come here, buddy! Popo! Hi, buddy. Come here! Hi. Hi there. No, stay up here with me. You wanna come you wanna come here more? Oh goodness, oh goodness. No no no. Hey. Over here, in front of me. Come here. Oh. Thank you. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Can I see? Let me see. Let me see. Thank you. Got goobies in his eyes. Oh he got little goobies. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate you. You're very good. You having fun? You having a good time? You're doing stuff. Are you doing stuff? Okay. Go ahead. Thank you. You're a very good fella. All right. Go ahead. Go have fun. I didn't want to interrupt you. It's okay, buddy. Go ahead. You want to come back? No, he go. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. You try that with Ellie. Oh, she doesn't come to me, but she'll like uh, bits for the best boy, right? Like I don't know. How do you? How do you just get upset? Like. I don't know. He's just a he's a pup. He's just a boy. He's he's just cute. I don't know. Like I don't talk like this, but this is more of a Zoomer Mimi thing than it is like. I don't think I don't think thirty year olds really talk like this, unless they're like doing jokes, right? Like it's kind of like the, it's kind of a joke. The point is that it's being it's being very cute. Anyway, I don't know why he has problems with this kind of shit. How old is John? He's like 21, 20, something like that. Yeah. Basically just depend. But again, I don't, I don't really give a shit if you talk like this. I don't care. Did not worry about starting a family, etc. For context, think about it this way. Imagine there's an emergency. You need somebody's help in a public place. What is the approximate age of somebody in 2021 that you look for to where you'd be confident that they could help you in an emergency? What kind of emergency? Now compare that to where you'd be confident like 30 years ago. I can tell you that I wouldn't be confident 30 years ago? Approaching anybody who appears to be- You, you were, you did not exist 30 years ago. You were not a human person 30 years ago. I was. What? In the 90s? What are you talking about, dude? 30 years ago. In 1991, you remember when people could be trusted more? Like, what are you talking about, dude? What? Under the age of about 37 to help me in an emergency. 
Anyone younger is too likely still. 37. Okay, so that's closer to 40 years ago. All right. Effectively a child. They're too likely to have Peter Pan syndrome. Whereas 30 years ago, I'd imagine you'd be okay approaching anyone who appears to be like 25 or older. Maybe even younger, but yeah. Do that. Destroy the family. Uh, remove anything else that they might be compelled to care about. Pri destroy the family, bro. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? <laughs> Fuck you for making me remember the 1990s it was 30 years ago. Have bits, corn bastard. Uh, well, I was there. Uh, it's okay. Uh, as far as destroying the family, no one's destroying the family. Families are just looking in a, uh, different. They're just they're just organized differently. They're not nuclear anymore. Um, uh, or at least not, not the kinds of families that we tend to want don't tend to be nuclear. Um, people most likely to say doggo are the ones trying to help Texas. Probably. Uh, yeah. Um, so, um, as far as like, um, <clears throat> is, uh, sorry, I, I lost track because of that, because of that, uh, that thing, uh, destroying the family as uh, the family looks different now because we're not just heterosexual white people we're a conglomerate of of different sexualities different gender expressions uh different racial makeups we're also a conglomerate of people that don't have the means that we did 30 years ago due to the fact that wages have barely increased since uh reagan took office basically right and so because of Reaganomics uh, and the trickle-down bullshit that doesn't work um, in the 80s, you, you have a problem where the last really successful presidency insofar as, like, wealth is concerned is, is, is Bill Clinton. Um, not that he was, like, the greatest president of all time or anything, but uh, we actually had a surplus. We did not have a deficit under the, pres of the, under the presidency of Bill Clinton. We actually had a surplus. Uh, um and uh, uh, since then, we have gotten gay marriage. Uh, we've had the trans discussions. Um, and we have also decided as a collective, sort of like kind of independently, but also together, that like it doesn't make a lot of sense if I don't have access to health care, if I don't have access to education, if I don't have access to, to a, a, an easy way to um, – uh, pay my student loans. And like every, every, anyone who's like in their 30s, you know exactly the feeling. When we were coming out of high school, they were worried about jobs. And a lot of the jobs we got told that we should do were things like nursing, were things like call centers, were things like uh, technology, just learn to code type shit. And then there was like the HVAC, the welding, and you know, some other, some other shit like that architect. Sure. Um, yeah. The engineering type stuff, uh, all of that, I said healthcare, um, all of that kind of stuff was, was pivoted to us, uh, and pitched to us. And then of course we had the military because nine 11 was a thing when we were in high school. Um, or at least the effects of it, like a lot of military recruiters. Um, the ASVAB was a big test that a lot of us had to take at the time. I know they still do that, but, uh, uh, it was it was a much more socially conscious thing at the time. Um, I scored very well on it and got uh, the the uh, Marines and the Army uh, coming to my house at the same time on accident, uh, and they sort of fought over me. And I was like, "No, nah, I don't want to fucking join your war. You're stupid." Um, I was 18 or 17 when that happened. Um, military recruiters, uh, the ASVAB, um, blue collar jobs that have apprenticeships, yeah, stuff like that. Um, yeah, I, had a, I have a lot of uh, friends that either went to Iraq or became nurses and stuff like that. And uh, they're fine, but, you know, not a lot of them like their vocation. They got it because they wanted money, right? I might be the only person from my high school that enjoys their job. I'm not even – for my class in my high school, I know that there's people that have graduated from my high school. One guy that graduated from my high school is in the NFL right now. I think he's doing fine. But um, and I'm certainly not necessarily the most um, – uh, well off financially uh, of all those people, but I bet I'm probably one of the only people that enjoys their job. Um, yeah, I was an adult when 9/11 happened. Well, you're old. That's okay. Uh, you get to be old, and and you get to you get to. I need you here in chat like that, Quig, because it makes me feel young still, right? And that's okay, even though I woke up and my back hurt. So <laughs> anyway, let's keep going with John. I was uh, I was in seventh grade. 
fighting country, God, heritage, all of that. Replace it with celebrity worship, consumerism, aka money worship, literal Satanism. I don't know. It's all the same. But yeah, then at that point, you'd have a society filled with mentally ill people. Satanism. People, they're insomniacs. They're anxious. They're depressed. They have mood disorders. They're committing suicide. This happens on all sides. Of, like, he thinks that mental disorders happen because you're you're already sad or something like that. Like, <laughs> okay. Do you think, do you think, he seems to have this backwards. He thinks that the mental disorders don't happen and then that behavior occurs. He thinks the behavior occurs and then the mental disorders happen to exacerbate the problem. That is really not how it happens most of the time. At, the, at that point, it's so destabilized. They'll beg you. They will be begging you to take everything away from them just to bring about a sense of control and order into things. And then you're just good to go. You will have effectively bred and weaponized mental illness as a means of con <laughs> consolidating power. That's what I would do if I were the guy who does things. You know what this means? People are going to be like, oh, that you're the guy who does things? No, no. It means that there's no scenario where we survive if these trends continue. It just doesn't compute. Pornography, among many other things, breeds mental illness. And mental illness breeds leftism. It's unavoidable. I don't have a mental illness that I'm aware of. I've never been I, – I, I'm pretty well adjusted, you might say. Um, I've never been diagnosed with a mental illness. I don't think I would be diagnosed with a mental illness. Um, I am very, very fortunate in this regard. Um, but mental illness is very common. So, for instance, uh, John Doyle's neuroticism. That's a mental illness. Uh, <laughs> he, uh, he probably he probably has, a, has, has quite the mental illness. I, I wouldn't be surprised if he has um, uh, eventually uh, depression and anxiety. Uh, really wouldn't be surprised about that in the way that he speaks. I also wouldn't be surprised if he has um, maybe like a borderline personality disorder type thing going on at some point. Um you are disgustingly neurotypical. I know. I, 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 I'm very fortunate, again, like I said. I don't know why I'm pretty neurotypical. I, I, I just – it worked out. Um, uh, uh, neuroticism isn't a personality. Uh, I don't know. I don't know about that. Um, mental illness poll? Have Sure. Do a mental illness poll. How many of you have been diagnosed – uh, with a mental illness. How many of you have self-diagnosed with a mental illness you're pretty sure about? And then how many of you have no, have neither of these? Are you pretty sure you're neurotypical? Uh, that'd be very interesting to me. Um, because, uh, 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 it's, it's interesting. Um, a lot of you go through a lot of shit that I don't ever have to deal with, which is, uh, Good for me, uh, bad for my ability to understand it uh, as well as I could. But um, I think it's uh, I think it's probably best. Uh, doctor diagnosed, self diagnosed, neurotypical. I'm gonna go with neurotypical. I hope I'm going to be wrong about this, but I'm pretty sure that we have most people in the world, um, if they had access to healthcare, would have a diagnosis of a mental health uh, issue, um, whether it's just misphonia whether it's whether it's uh something on the on the spectrum of autism that uh can qualify as a mental uh illness um remember mental illness is not like a very it doesn't have to be a terribly strong thing you can get social anxiety as a mental illness um i'm perfect i find not having autism to be the real mental illness who the fuck doesn't just say what they mean smh making me read your eyebrows and shit idiots <laughs> Uh, I quit my job a few months back talking to my pa myself panic in the middle of the night. It was fun. Wow. Um, is mental illness considered neurodivergent? Uh, that's usually how people talk about that. Um, the thing is, it seems more normal than being neurotypical. Um, and not just in any, in lefty spaces, in all spaces, because, because of the way that we have have ignored these things and that we don't have access to mental health care a lot of people go untreated and and they just they just you don't have don't have the access to or the means to to the you know what could prevent this in the first place there's a lot of learned behavior that our parents did that fucked us up um society in general and then there's of course uh, just inborn things that just everybody has to deal with certain things. Mo all of mine ended up being, um, um, uh, I guess you could say non-mental, so physical stuff, which I hate that we, 
I hate that we do that. Do you ever do panels and stuff? Oh, yeah. But I don't really like them. I'm not a big fan. It's it's good for followers. It's bad for subs. I'll probably do a few panels uh, next month or something. Or, or like one panel, I mean. Is mental illness neurodivergent, though? As neurotypical as you are, Jake, I don't know how you hold up in some circumstances. I don't know how you don't hold up. So, you know what I mean? So, like, we just don't, we have different experiences. That's all. Yeah. I figured doctor diagnosed, about 77% of the audience. Yeah, I'm not surprised. And, and, and it can vary in severity, of course, right? So, you know, a mental illness can be social anxiety. Mental illness can be, um, you know, an eating disorder. A mental illness can be, um, you know, a very, a very benign thing that doesn't happen all the time. It also can be very crippling. So, um, there are degrees, and I think we need, we obviously, and I believe you agree, we need to de destigmatize the term. Maybe not calling it mental illness or neurodivergency. Both of those things seem extreme. Um, I don't know. Like, like when I have a bum knee, I could just call it a bum knee. But when someone has depression, we go, ooh. You know what I mean? Like, lots of people have depression. Lots of people have depression. I bet people have depression more than they have bum knees. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so I don't know. I, I, there's got to be language that we can find somewhere down the line that makes these things just seem like really normal, everyday issues that people have to deal with so we can have more empathy and stuff. Um, as someone who grew up uh, in a black Christian home, uh, and this is from Doodle Burp, uh, when I told them I was depressed, I was told, pray on it or that's a white people disease. You don't have that. Oh, yeah. Um, that definitely happened. Sending a quick Twitch DM. Okay. Uh, 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 uh,
it was a thing as an adolescent I was told that was fucking wrong, right? Like, as a teenager and stuff, it made me very uncomfortable. Like, um, I was never a jealous type, but it, it did it, I was never, like... I guess it was jealousy, but it was never, like, in the way that you see in the movies where it's like, you looking at another man? Fuck you, bitch. It was more like um, I just felt bad about myself, um, uh, which wasn't healthy or, or right. And, I mean, that was I was a teenager, you know what I mean? And uh, just over the years, I just... I don't give a shit, right? Like, there are... There are attractive people all over the place. I can't help that. I can't help anybody else's attraction. And I would feel bad to re restrict someone's attitude towards another person because of their attraction, right? It's not something like you can't pretend that you're not attracted to people. You're attracted to people. Some people are attractive to you. That's fine. And that may manifest in different ways. Like, um, maybe they're just attractive on a personality scale, and that's not really a sexual thing. Maybe it is only a sexual thing. You don't really like the personality. It could be both. Like, and it's just varying degrees. Um, like, uh, like, I don't think there's a person that could be more attractive as a total package to me uh, than Sarah or someone very, very, very much like her. At this point in my life, that might change in the future, but I doubt it, right? We have grown together. Uh, we're very good together. We we like living a very similar way. Um, we both like a lot of the same things, but enough of the different things to where it's, there's not – we don't get tired of each other. We have good stories together. Like, like there's lots of really good things about her. And, and, and she likes a lot of good things about me, but there's things that she likes that I don't like that I can't provide her. For instance, a vagina. Don't have one. Don't got big old bazongas. Not a pretty lady. Can't do that. So, you know, it's 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 a thing that she likes. And, and I also like women, but I'm not one. I cannot provide her the experience of being with a woman. I also can't provide her the experience of wanting to play MMOs. She can't provide the experience of really, really enjoying playing basketball with me. Or she doesn't really like to smoke weed that much. You know what I mean? Like, there's lots of things that she doesn't like to do or that I don't like to do or that I'm attracted to that she's not attracted to or vice versa, right? Like, and she's also attracted to other men, for sure. I'm not. I'm not attracted to men. I can't share a man with her. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it just doesn't it just doesn't make a lot of sense to be so fucking... You got boobs, at least. They're not really boobies. It's, it's, it's man pecs, and I got, like, a little bit of fat on top of them. I'm not... I'm not a very, I'm not a booby, flabby, fat guy. I'm a very stiff, fat guy. I'm a very, there's a lot of muscle under here. It's just a sheath. Yeah, pegging exists, you coward. I'm kidding. I'm not really into it. I don't have a bussy. No. Got a peepee. -pee. Um, yeah. <sighs> yep. But, you know, there's just stuff like that. Try it twice, Jake. I've never had anybody that wanted to peg me. I probably wouldn't be into it very much. Probably. You got pretty decent breasts. Nice. Bussy equals butt pussy. Oh, well, can. Uh, cause I like lady, uh, like Sarah and I will talk about pegging. Uh, we, you don't have to. That's not really your space, and I think I think that would be very very weird for you to do that, baby mouth. Um. <laughs> You don't have you don't have you don't have you should peg Jake rapport with Sarah. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> Even ignoring that it makes your dick stop working. No, they don't. And frankly, my dick is working just fine. They shouldn't be expected to. But society is preaching the opposite message. And so women have now just come to expect this of men. Wilson Fisk. I'm less tall than him, but yeah, no, it is. I'm, I'm a pretty solid fella. And they're told that, well, it shouldn't be a problem. Do I want to know what pegging is? Oh, pegging is just is just uh, when a typically this is a straight guy thing, um, but it doesn't have to be, uh, uh, or at least bi or whatever. Anyway, when you're with a person, when a, when a man is with a person without a dick, and they have usually a strap on or a toy or something, and it goes in their butt. It's just but it's just it's just anal for for dudes, but it's not dick. It's not dick. Yep. Technically, I guess it's pegging if it's a toy and it's a lady, but usually they just call that anal or something like that because we're all heteronormative. I mean, you know, it can actually be something good for your relationship. That's a cope. And we'll explain why later. But the bottom line is that that in itself, even ignoring how many divorces and breakups can be traced back to pornography. I think it's like 56% of divorces are partially caused by it. 
But the fact 56 of divorce. 56% of divorces are caused by porn. That you as a man can't control yourself enough to prioritize your wife or even your girlfriend is a huge problem. And maybe you think it shouldn't even be a big deal because, well, they're not real women and you don't do it that often and you've got all these logical reasons laid out. But look, man, you're not explaining this to me. You're explaining this to a woman. And if it makes her that upset, which it probably does, just get over yourself and quit doing it. Quit coping. Stop victimizing yourself. Like my girlfriend's trying to control me by saying it makes her upset when I watch pornography five times a week. A lot of guys are going to be right now, they're going to be like, bro, are you simping right now? And it's like, first of all, my dissertation on the psychology of the simp got over a quarter million views, which makes me the authority on this. Secondly, there's nothing. It doesn't. But um, uh, <laughs> uh, okay, so I mean, if your relationship is negatively affected by your porn usage, sure, it's definitely worth having a conversation about it. Um I mean, I mean, I don't, I, I, I don't think there's most situations that uh, a leftist that he tends to disagree with. If you have a, if you have a any problem that is it is negatively affecting your relationship, it's it's probably something that you should discuss, and maybe it's not a good thing, right? But I mean, I mean, it just depends. Like, what if it's like I watched porn once and she's really butt mad about it? I have an itchy nose. Uh, then, then I, I think maybe that the, that there's a problem with her, not with you, but, uh, or your partner in general, he's only talking about heterosexual couples again, of course. Um, and only from the cis perspective, uh, <laughs> it's just, it's just really stupid, dude. Like just have, just have a normal conversation with a human being. If, if someone doesn't drive with what you're doing and you can't stop it, then maybe you just shouldn't be together. That's okay. Epic about degrading women. I am the authority on the Bible, yes. And it's not white knighting to acknowledge that. And if you think it is, and you're probably just not in contact with a lot of girls, to be honest. It's the same reason why... Are you in contact with a lot of girls? What are you talking about? You're a vol cell. There's nothing good about women being in the military. Feminists have... What? Brainwashed women into thinking that it's, like, all empowering and weak men... Wait, why is he talking about women in the military now? Be like, haha, how do you like it? Or something like that with pornography. And it's like, dude, do your job. As a man, whether you like it or not, your job is to protect and cherish women. <laughs> <laughs> Let me be very clear, though. That applies to oh. women, which means women who behave like women. I'm not saying these bitter, resentful feminists, these high T feminist types are worthy of that respect. But I'm Wowzers. I'm also not saying that you should be worthy of respect as a man just because you're a man. Because if you're not willing to live up to those societal obligations, frankly, you're not a whole lot better. What does it say about a society that sends its women to die in wars or that whores its women out for the weakening of the masses, that grooms its daughters at very young ages to start producing pornography of themselves? I, I I want John to get a, to get to get uh, into physical altercations with military women. How about that? Selves. That's not progress. That's abhorrent. It's your job as a man to stop it. And if you're not willing to do that, it's because you're weak or because you think it's funny or something. You should just start an OnlyFans too. There's literally no way this guy makes it out of his whole life without getting like like uh, uh, Richard Spencer, right? Just finished D&D, &D, so now let's have some trash. Hell yeah. Wash the joy right out of the brain. You have a pee, pee Now go die for oil. True. Well, I literally had to sign a selective service card because of pee, -pee. Mix your SSRIs and your soy lattes every morning because you're just as bad as the women who are... I don't like coffee. This is always... It's always so funny. Everything they attack leftists for, I'm not part of, which I think is really frustrating for these guys. Really frustrating. I don't like soy lattes. I'm not a big fan of fucking coffee. I don't need a lot of soy in general. I'm not gay. I'm not trans. I'm an ally, uh, or I try to be, and hopefully you view me as such over time, and uh, uh, it seems to be going okay. Um, not a big fan of coffee. Not a big fan of, like... <laughs> You know, I don't watch a lot of porn. His whole big problem is with porn. I'm pretty masculine by most people's standards. Like, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm always so fucking frustrating to these people, right? Oh, you got, you, 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 he, him. I'm like, yeah, uh, since birth, man. Yep. <laughs> that happens all the time, dude. These people are just, they are looking for scapegoats. They're just scared, dude. They're just scared of you.
they're scared of they're scared of you guys and your porn and your hentai and your furries and they're also scared of you having a lesbian relationship or being gay or being trans and having babies uh they're they're scared of you living your best life dude and just tell them to fuck off tell them to fuck off cuz you whatever makes you happy is the correct thing to do if you're not hurting anybody else you're certainly not hurting anybody else by having a a a, a lady dick you know what i mean you're not hurting anybody else by by having a beard and wearing a pretty dress. No one gives a shit. As long as you're feeling yourself, hopefully, as long as you're happy, as long as you got good friends around you, as long as you're as long as you're, you know, your your family is 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 as healthy as they can be. And hopefully we vote for things that that continue to help that out. What the fuck kind of problem could I possibly have with you? Like seriously. Thank you Rublon for giving one of James Blues. I appreciate that. Like like you're valid. That's the only that's the only point that's it you are valid that's the whole thing i th- there doesn't need to be more conversation about this oh how do you want to live your life this way okay done live that way go for it <laughs> like uh, wh- why i don't care how you live the only thing i care about oh, really is how you act to other people that's it that's the only thing El- Elron, Mexico, that good one to movies are usually okay. I appreciate that. Um, I just want you to 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 project dignity onto other people. That's it. That's really my prescription for American society and world society in general. Allow someone dignity. That's all of it. That's pretty much the thesis on how to treat one another. And what does that entail? The stuff we bang on all the time. Not only, of course, your self-expression, whether it comes to your gender or your identity or your or your sexuality or whatever, how that personally manifests, but also things that we do with each other, healthcare, education, housing, etc. Uh, all these things, UBI, um, um, you know, access to food and water, um, access to the internet, all of the things. Like, that's just allowing someone the basic dignity of like not having to survive in a situation where we can cover survival, dude. We can cover survival. We can cover basic shit for everyone in this place. That's all it is. You said you'd disown me if I took the top cheese off a of lasagna. Oh yeah, no. But if you do take the top cheese off a of lasagna, the crispy, delicious lasagna top layer, uh, you can you can fuck right off. Yeah. Yep. But but then again. I said uh, you get to live your life as long as you as long as you can without hurting someone. You have hurt the entire nation of Italy when you do that, um, and anyone who who loves themselves. You've literally, I mean, that is an act of war on Italy. I don't know why you would do such a thing. So, so 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 stupid. Refusing to be women. Refusing to That's be why men. MGTOW is a cope. This movement of men who are like, grr, we're, we're mad at women, so we're just going to do our own thing. We're going to do whatever we want. It's like, dude, cool, I get that. But that's not what a man would do. That's what a boy would do. You're basically pouting. You're like, grr, girls are the worst. I don't need them. Whereas a man would just put them in their place. That's literally all you have to do. Just put, be a good man and nature will take over. The f- put women in their place? That's what makes you a good man. Put a woman in her place. Okay. I disagree, and so do women. <laughs> Feminist conditioning will melt away. It happens every time. So just keep in mind, going forward, that's what you got to do. Do you think he talks to his mom like he's in charge? I bet he does. I bet Mama Doyle walks up and is like, John, clean your room. And he's like, woman, don't you fucking talk to me like that ever again. And he like takes his belt off, and pretends he's going to hit her or something. What a fucking weirdo. There is a zero... Look, look, is there, is there a 0% chance he doesn't get rung up for domestic abuse at some point? Like, just the way he talks, it seems like it seems like he would definitely hit a woman. Am I nuts? I'm hoping this isn't real. I'm hoping I'm, I'm misinterpreting this, but I don't feel like I am. I feel like, I feel like down the road there will be, and you can, you can, you can lock this in, the 20th of February, 2021. I'm pretty sure this dude is gonna is gonna fucking <laughs> is gonna punch a lady. <laughs> the 
that the only reason that women suck right now, particularly white women, is because men suck right now. So yeah, you can't just give up on women. Like, how do you think America survived? Men, women suck because men suck. Because it's it's men's job to to dictate how women do. That's true. That's true. I'm in charge of all of you, ladies. Okay. Be more like Papa Jaku, ladies. All right. Let me tell you a thing or two. All right. Mansplaining? <laughs> I can do better than that, okay? I can cornsplain to each one of you, all right? Consider yourselves uh, my, my, my little ladies, okay? I'm in charge now, all right? Take after me a little bit more. Jake about to put Sarah in her place? Yeah, definitely, totally, yeah. True. Could do. Could do it. I could do it. I just don't want to, you know. <laughs> you know, I could, I could, I could totally do it. You know what I mean? I just don't. You know, I just don't, want, I just don't feel like it. I just don't feel like it. You know what I'm saying? Not a big, not a big. I, you know, I'm just not gonna do it. It's not like I'm scared or anything. I'm not scared. I'm a, I would. <laughs> I'm a man. I'm a manly man. I wouldn't. Come on. Uh, five to two. He's on body cam footage in an R public freakout backhanding Carol in a Walmart parking lot in Lubbock, Texas. Jesus Christ, toy. Uh, guys, <laughs> without people, bro. We need families and we need children and we need them to be good. But in order for that to happen. We need our men to be good. And if you're a Christian, you need a white family. Christian, I ask you this very simply. How can you expect a God to put a good woman in your life if you yourself are not a good man? You have to earn her. It's that simple. Dudes be like, where's my trad GF? But then they're like 30 pounds overweight. They have a subscription to black.com. The point being that since... Wow, buddy. We already know that married people are the happiest and... You, you know what it does say in the Bible? Uh, uh, <laughs> You you can't you can't be you can't be thirty pounds overweight, uh, or we won't give you your trad trad girlfriend. Uh, Al Gore would be a good president. Thanks, man. In their marriages, and it's actually the marriages that make them happier. And since uh, in another bit message, explain to me why Al Gore would be a good good president, please. We know that families are the backbone of society. We need you to be in a position to optimize the long term stability and, and happiness of those relationships with women. We also need you to start pursuing women, etc. You know the list. We've gone over it like ten times. Quit watching porn. Start kissing more girls. Are women annoying? Yeah, but we need them to make everything function. So we got to work together here. Are women annoying? Yeah. Do you, is he just what, what? What? Dude, I don't think you. I don't think you like girls, dude. What? I just don't think he likes girls, which is fine. He seems every time he brings up women, he's like, ah, women hate them. Don't like it. Not a fan. And he's also like, but but st start a family. You know how he do that, John? <laughs> I don't like women. They're they're not even good looking. I'm not even attracted to women, to be totally honest. Now the boys, absolutely. Hundred percent down with the boys. Not attracted to a woman. That's that's gay. Frankly. That's like the third time John's brought up black.com, I agree. Yeah. Um I mean, look, if, <laughs> if he is closeted, which is not what I'm necessarily saying, I guess, but I am saying it sort of, um, I hope, look, I really hope he's not closeted because this would be a very sad story. Um, that would be, that would be pretty sad if he, if he just, you know, was denying that aspect of himself for the sake of like YouTube clicks or whatever the fuck he thinks is going on. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty sad. So I hope that's not the case. I hope he's a. I hope he's just a shitty straight guy. <laughs> that's that'd be a bummer, dude. Uh, John, the Bible has rules for slavery. Raping women is okay if you give her dad thirty gold coins. It's actually uh, uh, sh they're not, they don't have to be gold. They're shackles. Um, and you're going to hell if you eat shrimp or wear modern underpants. True. Because uh, he believes in global warming and is also centrist enough to win votes. Hmm. In another bit message, what's good about being centrist? <laughs> There's a non-zero chance he started a He-Man Woman Haters Club in high school. True. Oh, gothy queer. He absolutely probably believes that marital rape is not a thing. Yeah. 
One, two, three, break. That's the game plan, 2007. But we have to go over a few more things, starting with. Well, that's the end of that's the end of part four. That's the end of part four. Uh, I didn't realize that was going to happen, or I wouldn't have stopped one second before that happened. That's my fault. So that's the end of part four. If you enjoyed uh, part four of this stupid, stupid thing, uh, hopefully you enjoy part five as well, which is coming up next uh, uh, here on the on the, on the show. Um, uh, so right now, uh, right now we we are at uh, nine degeneracies. Uh, by the end of the video, hopefully we get to 10. Hopefully we get to 10. Uh, for those of us in live chat, if you're not in live chat and you're on YouTube watching this right now, uh, I'd appreciate if you press subscribe. We're trying to break 20K. We might already be over 20K. I don't know. I don't know. This is the future. Um, or I'm in the past now, and you're in the future. Uh, you're a time traveler. So maybe we'll get to that point. Who knows? Um, but, uh, yeah, and if you're just hanging out right now, I appreciate all the bitty messages that are coming in. I'll read them in a second. And also, if, you, if, you're, if you're new here and you, you haven't yet, I appreciate a follow. We have the best community on the Internet, and that's not even – that's not a joke. It's not a joke. Best community on the Internet. It's growing every day. Uh, we broke 14,000 followers recently, um, uh, and, and we're on our way up. We usually have between 450 and 500 viewers uh, going, so we're going strong uh, at a time slot in the middle of the night. So pretty good. Not too shabby. Uh, I love uh, your faces, uh, and, and hopefully uh, you, en you enjoy the next video.